I'm Yen. I'm Fiona. And we are back after countless months. Yes, we're back. <laughs> yep, and if you like this episode or any of our videos, please remember to hit the subscribe button. Mm, let's get started, shall we? Yes, ding ding. <laughs> we are finally back with our monthly product showdown. Wow, it's been a while. It's been like, what, three months? So Merry Christmas and a mm-hmm. Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're all busy during the year end here, right? Yeah. The starting of the year mm-hmm. and a little bit of procrastination here and there. Yes, but the good news is we have many, many products lined up for you in the next couple of months because yeah. we've been trying so many things. So I can't wait to get this episode started. Yep. So Yen, let's begin with you. Okay, wait. Okay, this product has been around with me for the longest time, but I always neglect this product. Okay. But it helped me to to make my hair looks decently nice, okay. I guess. Yeah, yeah I've yeah, noticed yeah. you have new hair. New hairstyle. Like a new hairstyle, yeah, yeah not yeah, new yeah. hair, sorry. So part of this hairstyle uh, require this product. Right. Okay, okay. actually you don't need it lah. But I once mean, again... look at my hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think, think this is um, Kevin Murphy. It's called the Anti-Gravity Spray. Uh, Anti-Gravity Spray? Yeah. What does that mean? Okay, so because I have very thin hair, Ah. And I have rather limp hair as well. So you know some of the hairstyle, right? It requires a little bit of volume. Okay. Mm, so um, actually there's a lot of volume spray out there. And this is probably not the only one. But what is great about this, right? It's actually organic. Ooh. And you can actually spray on your hair, scalp, hair scalp on your scalp. And it doesn't clog your uh, follicles. Can I try? So yeah. I just do this and I spray. Yeah, but normally you need to blow dry. Oh, okay. Mm, but, it, oh, okay. Okay, so what happened is that once you spray, you blow dry, it gives oh. you a little bit of a control right. and sort of like styling oh. a control, but okay. it's a very weak control. Lah. It basically just gives you a little bit more volume. How long would it last if, let's say, you use this? The whole day. Oh, oh wow. So, example, okay. I got short hair, right, compared to yours. Yeah. Uh, if I don't want to go into, I don't want to use any like wax or, mm. you know, heavy styling product, mm. I'll just spray this, uh, then tussle the hair a little bit and just kind of like, you know, not today, today I actually put on something else apart from this. So spray on the wet hair and you blow dry. Nice. Yeah. Actually, it sounds like something I will need like, because I mm. actually got, got quite limp hair as well. Mm. So on a regular basis, um, I don't do sort of uh, like a bit of volumizing spray. Okay. Uh, what I do is because I have limp hair. So th- from this part to this part, right, basically it's always very fat. Mm. Uh, fat. fat. <laughs> Flat. And then from here, I have this like very weird wavy thingy. So I will mm. spray those like um, a bit more straightening stuff over here. Okay. So that when I blow dry it, 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 it kind of tapers down a little bit. So this is naturally how flat my hair would be. And, okay. and I really never do anything to it. La. So right. no like, you know, whatever mm. stuff straightener. So it's typically how flat it is. Okay, so unfortunately, I am not doing anything that's outside of my face. I mean, if I know the competition was about, you know, coming up with hair products, I'll be game on. But <laughs> yeah, every single one of my product, it's face product. So the first one that I'm going to go with is a um, product that it's so used, right? When I take this out, you're just like, am I ever going to replenish it? And the answer is yes, I'm going to buy my second one. Hey, hey, hey don't give me the oh, look. Okay, okay, okay. Ta-da! This is a sunscreen and it's like, oh my god, can you see how flat it is already? Like how flat. Okay, so this is a brand called Skin Aqua Tone Up UV Essence, which you can get in all major stores, I think. Mm. Um, it has got SPF 50 plus, PA plus, 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 plus. So, so many plus. Yes, and what's interesting about this one is, okay, you gotta try, okay? The purple color one. Yes, it's purple. There we go. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you have to squeeze okay, it. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, then. You know. okay, so it comes out purple, a bit lavender-ish looking. So, what it does is, I really like this particular uh, sunscreen or sunblock, whatever you want to call that, is that when you apply your skin, right, it actually brightens up your skin quite quickly. I think it has got to do with the fact that it has some colour corrector because of its lavender, mm. um, you know, like shade. Um, and then it absorbs very quickly. Uh, I am very pleased to also report that lately the skin condition has been really good. Uh, I mean, I'm going to talk about the products later. Um, so I can actually just walk out my house with this colour correcting sunblock uh, okay. with like concealer and I'm good to go. Yeah, so this is like my second one and it's it's not very expensive. I think it's probably about twenty dollars or, or 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 less. Okay. So if you're looking for something that you know it's it's quick and easy and gives you that radiance and you don't look so dead like you know how some sunblock just makes you a little bit dull and then you have to top up with foundation and everything else. Mm. Um, I think this is a good alternative. So yeah, it's a glow up kind of a sunblock. Okay, so um, from your sunscreen mm-hmm. to my second product, once again, it's another hair product. 
Better be something <laughs> I can try on screen. That's right. Mama. I was telling her that this hair product, normally I won't use also. Ayo, the I last time I used, when you say things the like that. The last time I used this hair product was when I was in primary school. Okay. What? <laughs> Do you just say primary school? Wasn't yeah. that like yesterday? <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, I never used this product for the longest time. I've not been I mean, I've never used it for the longest time. Now. <laughs> Please don't tell me it's been out so soon again. Okay? So for <laughs> girls, right? Yeah. Normally, y'all won't use this product also. But. Hair wax? But when I got this product, right, I tried a lot. I was like, I tried with a skeptical mind. Get <clears throat> Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, no, it's a genre of the product, not oh, the brand. Oh, okay, genre yeah. of product. Okay. So mm. I realized that, hey, actually, can uh, this product can work for thin hair like me, like mine. But what? why do you use hair product in primary school when hair is still like, a lot fuller and like we're all young and everything? It is. What's that? Oh my god. Oh, what's hair that? gel. Hair, what? Hair gel? Okay, it's from e Soap. It's actually called Scalp oh. Hair Polish. You know, I never use hair gel for a very simple reason. The wet look is not for me. I don't think I've used hair gel before. Yeah, and you know the wet look makes the thin hair looks even yes. thinner. Yes, and then when you comb it through, it has got like the shape of the comb. Mm. I mean, this is like, yeah. wow. So, but the wet look is kind of bad, you know. That whole... Okay, la, Wello has been coming in and out for quite a while. La. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, yeah. okay, which era are you talking about yeah. here? So when I tried this, right, uh, when I first tried the usual, you know, primary school, you always like comb through and everything, which looks really bad. <laughs> I don't know why. You know, you got to insert a picture here. You know, insert two sun, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the comb back, right. Uh, but I realised that it's really the way it's being applied to the hair. La. So okay. right now, my hair, I use a little bit hair gel. Okay. Just to kind of like, I rub on my palms and just kind of like, comb it through and do a little bit of styling. I should like it because for a very simple reason. It smells nice. It's, okay, the smell, the scent is great. The usual, you know, yeah. it used to always have very yeah. good scent. The second thing I love it is that, wow, it's so easy to wash off. You know, like wax, clay, right? Yeah. It takes forever yeah. to wash. You need to double shampoo and stuff yeah. like that. This one, once it rinses, right, everything is just off. So does it leave a very odd, like, you know, layer of something on your hair after you wash it? It really, oh no, it doesn't. Oh, okay. It just clear, cleans off quite quickly. I think what is great about this is that, right, the finishing is, of course, a wet look. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of, like, comb back wet look for ladies as well. Mm -hmm. um, I think we've asked, right, with thinner hair, right, I'm just going to try continue. Yeah, the key is really not to go into the roots. It's just the outside, just to give a bit of sheen and to stay, to make the hair stay a little bit better. Okay. So I think for me, right, it's always once I blow dry with um, the previous product, which is this one, I'll put the gel on my palm and just comb it through and start using finger to palm texturize okay. a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, so you know, there's that very clean, slick, That's wet look, right? Like that, this huh? one will give you the perfect finishing. Wow. Yeah, if you're going for that look. So I'll say this one, right, actually you can try. Yeah, actually I'm really trying it now. Yeah. It, you know one thing I, I find it interesting is for normal gels, right? Mm -hmm. Hair gel. The texture is always very sticky and then when you do this it's almost like... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But for this one actually... It's quite clean, it right? Actually, like, it feels quite okay, right? You can actually put a bit more yeah, just to that's what keep I'm the sides to do. Uh, yeah. on hold. So I actually recommend this, right? Uh, for those who have always been doing the very dry, wispy... <laughs> dry, <the> wispy... Dry? <laughs> you know guys, right? I always have that dry, wax, tasseled, wispy look. Which is still in trend, like, I would say. But now the wet look is kind of like coming back a little bit. So, uh, yeah, 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 you can try. Yeah, I'm not see? sure whether y'all can see the difference on screen. Yeah. Later we'll do a close-up. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, now you can really like, kind of see. Mm. I mean, I feel that it's very slick and there's no fly away. Hair. Yes, yes. Yeah, I think which is really nice. Yeah. So if you're doing like, wow, actually it's quite nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not a bad one. Oh yeah, now I have like transformed myself on screen. And one thing about wax and clay is that, right, because my scalp is very oily. Oh. It just weighs down the whole yes, yes, wax yes. and clay, which is very yes. heavy. But gel is so light, right? The hair still stays very puffed up. Wow, suddenly I look like, yeah. a, like some power woman. Not bad, right? Yeah, actually, it, actually it's really quite nice. Not and bad, I thought right? I would need to wash my hands after this. Actually, it's okay, it's yeah. not sticky also. It's quite Oh, this is a good one. And yeah. I love the smell. Mm. So oh. this is my second product. Well, quite successful, your second one. Nice work. <laughs> Now that I've tried your second product, right? Mm. I think the competition is definitely in the house, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. I feel that then it is important for me to bring up my top-notch recommendation this month. I mean, okay. not that my pre previous one is not, but after this hair gel where I can comb my hair through, which is not something that I expect from a gel, okay. I think this is where I'm going to bring this up. Okay, my second item mm -hmm. that I'm going to recommend this month Incidentally, comes in a pair. Isn't that exciting? So it's one. So it's one item or 
It's uh, well, it's in the same category, but because I need to recommend this, it comes in two. Okay. One for the day and one for the oh, night. Okay, okay. okay. So everything it's face. Right, so here goes. First of all, I need to put all this aside. Like. It requires wow. a grand entrance. Wow. Okay? And there okay. is a reason why. You gotta stay with me for this one, okay? The very first one is I mean, just look at that. Just look at the packaging, ladies and gentlemen. Like. Oh, it's very sleek. Right? Yeah, okay, like so some this perfume. one. And the second one that comes in the same category. Oh, I mean, nice come on, packaging. look at how slick that is. Okay, and then it comes with an applicator as well. All right, fancy. so fancy. Okay, so this product, this is called uh, the BA Milk, and this is a milk, and this is the cream. So it's from this brand called Polar Cosmetics. Mm. So clearly this brand has been around for a very long time. It's a Japanese brand and what they pride themselves with um, is that they are an anti-aging um, uh, company, anti-aging brand, um, a lot on genes, a lot of technology that they put into it because it is so like, you Should know. Should refer to your phone now? <laughs> yes, I'm going to refer to my phone because I need to explain to you how it works, right? Okay. So when I first got the brand, I was like, okay, I love the packaging and everything. I'm going to give this a shot. But what really amazes me, right, was that this company, Polar Cosmetics, they actually discovered, they're the industry first, huh? so they discovered this particular key gene that actually helps your skin um, to awaken the vital beauty uh, within the... How do you pronounce that? Genomic Genomic region. region that accounts for 98% of DNA. So if you look at the website it itself... It makes you younger. Exactly. It makes you younger. It rejuvenates by using... By doing something to your own genes, like, to your own DNA. Mm. Yeah, so um, I've been trying this product for a month. So this one over here, uh, which is the milk, I use this for the day. You can give it a shot or so. I, I tried it, it's very light. Very, very light. Mm. And what it does is immediately, right, um, it gives a very nice radiance and glow to the skin, which is clearly what we want to have and feel hydrated, right, before yep. you actually put on your makeup and everything. Uh, this one, which is the cream, is something that I use at night but I don't use that sort of um, every night. Um, it's probably just like actually less than five cents left of this mm. is enough for the whole face. So I use this like uh, twice a week um, if I want something a little bit more intense and you know so that the next day you wake up it's a little bit more hydrated than usual. So I use this last night like, because tonight, I mean today we're coming in for filming right so I want to look on point. So I use this last night. Yep, so this is uh, what I recommend. Okay, we are now down to the last product. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I'm gonna win lah. <laughs> this last product, it's I'm gonna bring you to Korea. <laughs> hey, I actually don't mind going to Korea. For the last couple of months, we haven't been seeing each other, yeah. but uh, we've been chatting quite massively. Uh, clearly, either on Telegram or WhatsApp. Uh, on you know, K drama. On K drama. Someone has been picking up K drama. I know, it. and yeah. I was just saying that. I mean, look at him. He's like my Vincenzo today. Look at the hair stuff. I, I'm hooked on that, so I'm watching it oh, like okay. yeah every week. It's like oh, <laughs> Vincenzo. No, okay, anyway, okay. back to your product. Yes, bring me to Korea. Actually, this product you're not you're not new to it. Okay, but you only watch, I've seen it in K drama, but you've never tried it. What's that? I've only watched it in K drama. I've not tried it. Yeah, it's a product on face or hair. Uh, neither, but people keep using it in K drama. People keep using. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna. <laughs> People keep using it in K-drama. Yeah, they keep doing this. <clears throat> they keep doing this. Eat one, I eat. Oh, oh, oh. Is this, is this like, is this like tube thing they, they, they eat? <laughs> oh <laughs> my god, I'm so... <laughs> See, one packet for you. Oh. You can try. What is this? <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> okay, this is so Korean. Okay, um, the last product I wanted to recommend is actually the Korean red ginseng sachet, <gasps> which is the extract of the red ginseng. It's... I mean, technically, it's not a topical beauty product, mm, mm, but um, to be honest, right, this is not new to me. Like, the past few visits okay. to Korea, I bought the one in bottle where it's kind of like a paste. This is like Ming Zhong. <laughs> no, no, no. It's actually quite fluid. It's oh, not a thick okay, okay. The only thing is that um, I bought it mainly for my parents. I see. Okay. Yeah, to drink and such. It's only to Korean drama kind of like uh, popularize the habit, not the habit, the action of like, you know, sucking this yeah. from this sachet, yeah. right? Uh, then I got uh, a set. Yeah. Then, um, to me, what it's 
beneficial, at least what I can feel mm. from this is really in terms of energy. Mm. Um, I tried it on days where mm. when I go work out, okay. I don't take pre-workout, I take this. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It okay. doesn't give you that spur of energy okay. but you don't feel lethargic. Okay. You know, days, right, you just feel very normal. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> like, you just don't want to go to the gym. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah, things like that. So, I thought it really kind of like uh, okay. maintain my energy level. Okay. Not super high but kind of like maintain it but not, it doesn't deep. Okay. Yeah. So I kind of like it, but I don't take it every day. Maybe one sachet every two, three days. Okay. Yeah, you can try, can just open up and do like what all the oppa da, all the oppa do. And mm. hey, I just I just put like a lot of like okay, like, you can put it, you out. I just put a lot of moisturizer on me just now, right? So now I cannot oh, like open oh, this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what's interesting about this, right? Mm. When he talked about um you can replace mm. it with your like supplement. I know, right? <laughs> because yeah, you can replace it with your supplements. It's because um he used to uh, recommend me to take like pre-supplement workout mm. um, and I tried workout. that for a while and I think it really helped uh, during the workout and then he also recommends post-workout. Mm. So it's quite interesting that he has, he's, he's thinking that the ginseng can actually help. Um, it doesn't give you that, it doesn't give you that sudden spur of energy that you need. La. Yeah, it's very concentrated. Oh my god, it's <coughs> bitter la. Do you feel like... Energy level up. No, like, it just keeps your energy level on a constant level, which I like. Yeah. Okay, I didn't expect it to be... Um, so watery, right? So watery, that's one. And two, it's like... Um, it's like, you know, when you take the, the ginseng slices, mm. like, you know, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, parents also ask us to take ginseng slices in yeah. the morning, right? Okay, it really has that bitterness. Mm. Nah. Okay, I really didn't expect it. Mm. Oh my god, I expect this video to be an hour long, okay? Because we need to uh, drink <laughs> right now. Yeah, this. we need to drink right now. Yeah. Fast forward later. <laughs> Thanks, Yen, for recommending the Korean ginseng because <laughs> right now, I'm very, very energized <laughs> for my very last product of the day. Okay. And my very last product of the day... Why am I slowing down so much? Right I now? don't know. Yeah, because I'm trying to calm myself down. No? I feel like very energized right now. My last product of the day, it's not a new product in the market, but it's a new product for me. And mm. the reason why I brought it for this episode is because um, I was really watching some of our past episodes, okay? I mean, you know, a little bit of self-love is always good. And if you haven't watched them, please show us some love. Um, and then I went back to that episode on foundation. You know, oh, I was okay. looking at that foundation episode again and then thinking I, I might want to try some new foundation. So then I was looking at how you were talking about the setting of foundation for men, right? Mm. That you don't want to have like, you know, like you look too powdery and everything. I think I might have the perfect product for you. Here goes. And of course, oh, you want to guess the brand? Okay, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just randomly guessing now. Am I really that predictable? Oh. Like, I swear, I swear. I swear we, do, we, we didn't know what's in the box, okay? We swear. Yeah, okay, it's like... Oh, really? Yeah, it's Nars, okay? It's Nars, okay. So, I don't know why I guess Nars also. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah. But anyway, first of all, I mean, look at the packaging. How great is that? A lot of a hand print. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, show, Ghost to Show is very okay, used, okay? okay very it's like a used product. So, when you open oh, it up... Hey. Are you surprised? Oh, okay, okay. So the powder okay. is actually white. It's a white translucent powder. It's very, very finely milled powder. And I don't know how many like how many times it has milled it, but it's super, super fine. Mm. Um, unlike the other um, setting powder or, you know, you have in the market that has got color, this is absolutely white, which means that it essentially just helps you to set your face. That's it. Um, so this is before or after foundation. You can always uh, wipe your fingers and then you can swipe it through and see how fine it is. Uh, this one, you apply it, uh, you use this to set your foundation after your foundation. You can oh. use this to also set your concealer as well. Because it's so super fine, oh. you don't actually oh see God. the powder on your skin. There's still, there's still not even a white cast. Or... Exactly, no white cast. I mean, okay, I'm using that on my face today. So if you, yeah, that's like, yeah, like that. I mean... It just sets um, the cream products for you, um, but it doesn't have like any color. Um, but it has a slight radiance, I will say. Yeah, okay. so after you apply, it actually has a slight radiance. So I actually use it at my under eye and actually a little bit on my T-zone and that's about it. Then the rest of the face is just the foundation, which I recommended in the previous mm. video already. So I'm still using that one. Yeah. I could say I bought something similar, but not mm. from NARS. Okay. Uh, it was from another brand. Mm -hmm. But I didn't like it because that brand, mm -hmm. when I apply it, it feels like I applied flour on my face. 
Oh. That's why the first thing I said, hey, there's no that white like cast. Like talcum powder. Yeah, right? yeah. So yeah. this is good. It just kind of like mattify and yes. sets everything. Yes, but it's not too matte until like your face look like flat. Nah. So mm. it's a bit of a radiant. So I Quick would... for oily skin. Yes, definitely. So I would recommend this for ladies who want to look still very natural but set everything in place. And clearly for men, this is wonderful. I've been trying to get Mr. Wong to use this as well. Mm. But of course, you know, now COVID, we can't share. I mean, no COVID, I also won't share. So at the <laughs> next uh, sale I'll probably get one for him because I think that would help me uh, well I mean like Sephora and all yeah oh, sometimes okay, okay, okay. Yeah, right, I, think, right, I think I got this um, during the Sephora member sale so I got it like 20% it? off uh, I think after sale was 40 plus I think before sale this is about 66 hey, but a little goes a long way like, I've had this for how long already uh? maybe half a year see it's still like quite full yeah so yeah this is my last um, product recommendation for the day and my theme is black Oh yeah, oh, no, except for this one. <laughs> color. Yeah, there we go. Three products this week. So, here okay. comes to... Which one will you choose? The final question. Okay. Right, the important question. Which one will you choose? Okay, uh, should I choose yours? Okay, Ooh, yeah. Let's... I'll choose. Let's... I already should... really chose this. Yeah. I knew you were going to pick that. Yeah, I think it's great for oily skin yeah. um, to really kind of like mattify yeah. this, uh, the sebum secretion. Yeah. And I like it because it doesn't look like there's white powder on mm. your face. You? Okay, for me, I think you've got really, really good products this time around. First of all, I didn't expect it to be there. <laughs> and two, um, I didn't expect that it's something that I can Aura. actually consume yep. on screen. <clears throat> um, it actually inspires me that maybe we should do a cooking show sometime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I take that back. Um, coming back to what I'll choose. Um, okay, it's a tough one. Uh. I'm actually thinking between these two. Something that you would really use, eh? Really use, huh? Like, yeah. Okay, if you really use, then I will go with this. The one. ginseng. The ginseng. <laughs> yeah, because I've been quite obsessed lately. Um, about <laughs> <laughs> not K drama. I've been obsessed lately with um. You know, like basically not just putting products on the outside, right? Mm -hmm. But taking care of the inside. So I'm quite excited that um, he got some oral like supplements products this time around. Because uh, I was just telling him off screen earlier that, hey, you know, maybe next episode I'm going to surprise you with what I've been taking um, orally as well to make sure that this whole anti-aging is working. But yes, I think I'll pick this one. Okay, great. So this is what we have for you this month. If there's anything you want to leave a comment or anything that you want to guide, <laughs> want not to try. <laughs> or maybe watch a cooking show from us. <laughs> Mukbang maybe like eat us watch. Okay, okay. It, watch us eat not eat us watch. Oh my god. Clearly, at the end of the video, we're getting a little drunk from the ginseng. <laughs> so yeah. Yep. So we'll see you in our next video. Yes, have a good one guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>